Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Uh, today it's raining here in Nova Scotia, but we're going to be inside doing arts and crafts, making the piece in between the box and the running board. I have the other running board done on the other side. It's all ground, cleaned off, and ready to rock and roll. I get all the braces cut out of the old running board and put into that one, so the, the running boards are complete. Now I'm on to making the piece in between the box and the running board. I already said that. Um, on this piece here, the fender bolts on the front of this, bolts on this piece. But this piece here that I'm going to put in has to be a little bit longer. So the fender, the fender comes up like this and then it has its lip in here. So we're going to have to make that a little bit longer. We'll pull them out of there. I grabbed a piece of, uh, piece of Bristol board and we're going to make a piece. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick that in there like that. The reason I want to do it instead of measuring it, I find that I'll, I get a little better, I'll get a better fit, no doubt in my mind is what I'm thinking. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here, trace that off there. That's the box. And then we got a spot right there. I'm going to draw a straight line and then see what we got. Also, I'm not scared of 18 gauge. It's just that we have not got any to make these pieces. So I'm going to do it out of 14 again. And I think that instead of me bending it, see, I should probably, there's a lip here. I think it's probably a three quarter inch lip here. And it goes down and hits on top of the running board. It probably should be bolted on. I'm not sure if it should be bolted on the both of them or not. Like it should be bolted on the running board or not. But it probably should be bolted on the box and then come down. It could even be welded on the box and just come down and fit on top of the running board. This is not fitting on top of the running board. Uh, the rocker panel is not, but the box, I'm thinking it's tight down. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, as I get thinking about this, I'm not sure if I should have the same distance in between uh, this piece here. Let's just put it on for a second and see what's going on. Just put my glasses on so I see what I'm doing. Got a little mark here. A little marky poo. Arts and crafts on a rainy day here in Nova Scotia. Arts and crafts. I gotta do a little repair to the back fender before I decide to put them on. We'll go, we'll go through that, how I'm gonna fix that and what I'm going to do. Lots of metal on the, on the scissors today. Jolene looks amazing this afternoon. She looks amazing, always, always, always. Her hair is nice and straight. Looks good. You look good, baby. You look good. We both did a little workout last night, didn't we, baby? Yeah, we both did a little workout last night. Makes you sleep good. Makes you sleep good. Now, there's the piece. Hmm. We're a little bit shy up in the front there, it looks like. But then again, we've got to be shy. And... Okay, that looks good. Now, what are you thinking as you're looking at that, Jolene? I'm going to get your opinion. We're going up front to this piece up here where the box stops. I thought about running it down like and go like that, but there's no need of that, is there? Like if I, you know, I, I might as well just come straight down from the box as, as to go, you know, to round it up like that because we're further away from here than we are there. We're just kind of maybe, yeah, just complicate things, but it's not really complicated. It's just kind of all in preference. So here we are up here, like this. That's where I'm thinking the piece is going to go. My marker. We're going to want a piece back here for the lip of the fender. So the fender lip is going to come on here. And then the fender lip is in on the inside. So we're about to go here somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. Something like that. Make it a little bit bigger because we can always shave it off. Just get out our razor, and shave it off. Do you know how to make a triangle into a straight line? Shave it. Too bad Jimbo wasn't here. He'd tell me he'd figure it out later. All right. There's our piece. Do I want to come down tight to the box or do I want to make it of the same distance as the rocker pan? What are you thinking? Same distance. You think same distance? I'm not sure. I'm gonna to have to stand back and take a look. Thanks for your opinion though, I appreciate it.
that's the piece we want, but I just don't know if I want to tight down or a little distance from the from the running board. I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, you know, it needs to come all the way down, and the reason this is the reason being is this is why I'm thinking it's got to come all the way down tight to the running board, because when the fender goes on. You wouldn't want the fender coming in here and then have a have a gap in between the fender and the box. When the, when this fender's coming on tight to this running board, you wouldn't want a little a gap going from there to there when the fender's down on tight. I don't think. I don't think. Wouldn't it look funny if there was a gap a gap there when the fender come down tight, bolted onto the side of the box? Because the fender's coming down, bolting tight to the running board, so we might as well make the box come down tight to the running board. Sorry, honey, I'm going to outvote you. We're going to go with this piece. I'm going to transfer this to a piece of, I've said it many times, 14 gauge. Um, we have quite a few pieces left in here. Sort of want to use it up. There's a nice long piece there that I'm going to leave it. Let's use this piece. I got a nice straight, nice factory edge on this side, a nice factory edge on that side. We're going to trace it and cut it. Now, that piece was tight in there. I could, I could, and I thought about it already. I need a three-quarter inch flange. I think I'm, I'm needing going to need a three-quarter inch flange going in this way and a three-quarter inch flange going in this way. Uh, one to meet up with the box. We can bolt it along here. Bolt, 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 maybe three bolts. And then maybe, um, I'm not going to bolt it to the running board, I don't think. Um, but I could, with a three-quarter inch flange going in, I could bolt, put a hole through there and bolt it right to the running board on the top. It does not look like on the ones that I've destroyed, they weren't bolted on top, but it was a car then, now it's a truck. But I'm thinking that the running board is going to be bolted on its own to the side of the chassis and the fender. It does not that need that bolted there. It just needs to be down there to close that gap off. So I'm going to cut this with a zip cut. Kind of half figuring it out as we go. I never thought about it too much. Spent my time on the on the running board yesterday and, and the cutting that off. But here we are. This is what we're doing. Cut this off. Gotta make some noise. Oh, had that on fire. That's why it was smelling funny. Thanks for coming back, everybody. Appreciate it. We, I didn't add the edge yet. I didn't add anything yet. That's what I said. I was going to. I never finished explaining myself. I could add a... Jolene just asked me, did I add my edge? I need a three-quarter inch on this side, and I need a three-quarter inch on this side. I'm going to leave it uh, 14 gauge up the front because there's, no, there's a straight lip going there. I don't, want, don't need to change that back there. And coming back on this side, it does not need a, need a lip there because the fender is going to be bolting to it. It needs a lip for in here and in there. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to weld my lip on. And the reason being is if I go to try to use the brake on this 14 gauge, I, I find that I don't get a good bend on it. Uh, and I can cut it with a zip cut and relief it a little bit and then put a bend on it. I just... It's just a hard go. I think I'm just going to weld it on. It'll have a nice lip on it. It won't go anywhere. So I can grind it off nice. I just figured it'll be a nicer piece. It'll have a sharper bend to it. And um, that's what I decided in my own brain. I forgot to tell Jolene what my brain was thinking. And I could have, 
I could have did that. I just feel like I didn't want to. Basically, I didn't want to. I just don't get a good bend. Now, look at that, she fits in there nice. Probably a little bit tight. We are a little bit tight. I'm gonna cut another smidgen off that to allow for, I'm gonna cut it again to allow for our 90s. We're gonna cut that much off. Cut a little more on that off. Actually. Just guessing here how much I'm gonna cut off. New line. I'm gonna cut that off a little bit because we're tight right now. When I add the, the 90s on it and weld them on, I'm gonna 40, I'm gonna, you'll, you know how I do the corners. I add a little bit to it, so I'm going to take enough away for both 90s. So, basically. Do I say basically a lot? You stay with us until the end of the video, and we're going to take a walk out, and we're going to show you the building. It's absolutely gorgeous inside. It's absolutely gorgeous. And outside, not as gorgeous as Jolene, but... Alrighty. I'm going to make a monstrous piece out of this, and the reason I'm saying that is because I'm going to add this... Uh, this is a three-quarter by one-eighth some thick stuff, but it's a nice little panel and um, I have it and I'm going to use it I'm going to measure the length and What I can do uh, instead of putting you through all the welding process is I can just weld I can weld it on or tack it on and then put the piece in there and then I can go from there because I still have the fender yet to fix I want to fix the edge of it before I do that. Nice. I love that when that happens. Don't a baby, right? I love that when it happens. Where's your three pronger at? I left it home. Nice and thick that is. So I'm going to weld that on there like that. Going to keep that panel nice and straight. And I'm going to do another one down here. You might not have done it this way, but that's okay. That's why we're all different. Makes sense, doesn't it, baby? That's why we're all different. Taking the sharp stuff off. Start the welder up, tack them on, get them in place. Join give me a nice buzz cut this morning. I was going down to the doctor's place this morning to get a little thing zapped off the top of my head. And she said, no, I can't zap that. That's your brain. And I said, no, it's not. But anyway, she did not zap it because she said it was, wasn't nothing big. If it was bothering me, she'd zap it off. If it wasn't bothering me, uh, it doesn't hurt anything being there. So I said, 
may as well just leave it there. I need all the brains I can get. I need all the brains I can get. Nope. Yeah. Do the exact same thing I do on every piece that I weld like this. I try to try to make it. Hardest part of some of this stuff. Them gloves, I might as well just take them off as the thumb's hanging out of them. Sometimes the hardest part is just to hold it to get it in place. Sometimes is the hardest part. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit to make to get it so I can get all the weld to go in the corner. See how I got it? Baby knows how I get it. See how I can get it so I can get the weld in the right in the edge there? Oh, no. That's for penetration and grinding purposes. I want a pair of gloves, I think. Put them gloves back on. I know I got a thumb hanging out, but I'm gonna get burnt. I know it. I don't want to get burnt. Just gonna check something out for a second here. I just want to see. I just want to see. And I messed up already. Reason being is, it's supposed to go on the other side. I want to see if I got enough gap for the other piece. <clears throat> Well, that's how she goes. That's what I did with the running board. Exact same thing. Just like that. Set yourself back a step or two. I did the exact same thing on the running board. Pretend you didn't see that. Let's carry on. I'm going this way this time. Gloves are causing me a hassle on that thumb, but if I don't use them, I'm going to get burnt. Fair enough. Beautiful. Beautiful. Jolene is. Jolene is beautiful. Just want to pull that up. Oh, no. Good. Good, 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 good. see she's a little bit taller at this end I take a little bit off
I'm going to go for that. I'm going to take a little bit off this back side to make it fit a little bit better. It's not as easy a piece as you think. You think it's just to bend in and measure it and bend it in? No. I'm actually, you're, it's not fitting as perfect as you think it would. And I have to work it a little bit. Work it. This You're more welcome to shut the, I can shut the water off if you like. If you like, sweetheart. I know you like to shut it off when I'm not using it, but. Sort of got a nice gap going on all the way. Still, that's fine. How you doing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Same guy, Fina. Same guy. Same guy. Trying to make it fit the best I can. Let's weld this other piece on the bottom and see what we got. We want a little bit of gap for primer, filler, whatever we're using in there. We want a little bit of a gap going on. Ouch. Hot. We want a little bit of a gap. one spot and tack her on there. <sighs> Pushed it off, see that? Awesome. We got her. Very important for me to get that gap or that bit coming up for the. Just closing my eyes as I'm running that. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit here. All right, let's check that out. A nice rugged piece. A nice rugged piece. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I like that. I've got a piece of the backboard coming down here, and so I'm going to have to split this uh, to make that work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on. I'm going to tack it on the either side of it. So when I cut it, it does not come off. See the backboard here. And when I put the box side on, I split the the three quarter inch put a uh, line in it with a zip cut so that it would go through the to the uh, box side and I'm gonna have to do the exact same for this piece so I'm gonna have to set it on there mark it and then zip cut it so it fits in there we get a nice that's gonna fit really nice we got a nice little gap there that's fine I'm going to put some more weld on it kicking my hat around that's not what I want to do. So the top side is where I'm going to want it. Just going to take a look here, see how far I'm going to want it. Stack 
the other side up so Generally I like to hold it up like this because the heat will go up in the air. Start holding it flat. Then the heat can run across the pan. You know what I'm trying to tell you. So fun. Like I did the, like I did the running boards. When I weld the running boards, I did not lay them flat like that and weld all the way along there. I stood them up. So when I weld this piece, I'll stand this piece up, weld it up this way so the heat comes up. If I leave it like this, then the heat has a chance to go across this panel and do something to it. I would never want that. So uh, that's what I did. I made it go like that. I have that panel. Pretty good 90 to going on there. Not bad. How you doing? Just bear with us. We're just doing a little video here. Yep, yeah, just bear with us. Now, I'm going to cut a line in that to fit that on there. Oh. Now, I want that to fit right straight down like that. I'm thinking that my line is right here. Zip cut a line in here. So I'm going to weld that. I guess it doesn't matter. When I cut it, it's always going to make it into two pieces. So I'm going to cut it. Actually, I'm going to tack it one more time. You're more than welcome to come in and have a seat there, or whatever, or sit down and watch if you like. We got a live studio audience. Oh, I gotta take this off. So basically, I'm just gonna put a cut in this to make it fit the box side. That off. I'm hoping that I got it. There we go. Nice. Well, yeah, that's better. Now I have to almost zip cut that. I gotta come. I should come ahead a little tiny bit. That's no problem. Just make a zip cut the other way. You're just gonna have to cut into that all the way. That's all. That's better. That's better. And that one there, just like so. Love it. So we'll weld that all up. That'll go into the, that'll just stay there like that. I'm not minding that. I'll weld that all the way solid along the top, solid all the way along the bottom, grind it off. And that fits really nice on both sections, which gives me a nice piece. I want to stand back and take a look at it for a second. I could come ahead just a little bit, tiny bit, and I think, and I will, just do this, just make the gap a little bit bigger, just being, just being me. I'm gonna go with that. Now I gotta fix the fender. 
I think we made the right choice of that coming down tight on the box, I think. Um, I'm going to vice grip that on for now. Just going to vice grip it. That made that come out a little bit, did it? It did. You know what that tells me? That tells me that that's not on a 90. It's gonna come off. I've got to change, hit this with a hammer is what I gotta do. You can see that I've got it on an angle a little bit, and there's really not much of an angle. It might be the piece of metal, or that's a bolt too, but when I, when I clamped it on, it went like this, so. kind of too late when you weld that all on there when you weld that all on there it's hard to bend bend down after that it really is let's do it again Butter on my fing fingers this morning. Let's get that pee. Everybody scripts. That's better. Now it's not kicking out on me, you know what I'm trying to say, sweetheart. That's better. Much better. When I, when I vice gripped it on last time, it was kicked out like this. I don't want that. I want it like that. Alrighty, the fender. Before I put it on, I wanted to fix the, the back of it. I've got this inside piece where it bolted onto the car. When I, when I run the zip cut through it and weld it together, that piece will be coming off. And then we'll just have a, a weld going right up through the middle of it, just all the way up through there. This will be cut off. Wherever you can see the spot weld, that's the piece that's going to be cut off on this side. It'll all be cut off when I cut it. But I want it to make the end of the fender before I put it on there. I want something to set it on. Sort of to get a measurement, a true measurement from the back of this part. When I, when I put the fender on, I can bolt it on there, but I will not know, I will not have a true read on the back of the back of the fender if I do not fix the back of the fender so I know where I'm measuring from. Because the piece was hanging down a little bit, I want it to fix it before I move along. That way there, when I measure both of the fenders together, I get something to go by. So what I've done is took some round rod, and I'm just matching it up to what they had. The fender's kicked out here a little bit further, that's fine. We've, we've made that piece and we're going with it. Gonna get a pair of, another pair of vice grips. So I'm just repairing the fender on both, just repairing the fender so I can uh, get a true read on the back side of the fender because I'm gonna have the fender connect there. I can pull the fender down or move it up, move it whatever, but I have to have both sides fixed to know where I'm going. I hope that makes sense.
Now that fits on there nice. I'm going to, what am I going to do? I want to get it on there so it looks good. So I'm back here. When I look at it now, it's kind of kicked up like this, the ramrod is, so I'm just going to beat it down a little bit. I'm liking that. I've got the, the metal right there on the outside of it. I rounded the ramrod so it goes with it. So I'm just going to tack that on there. And we'll call the back of the fender tacked in place. Basically is what I'm trying to say, tacked in place. There's so many little things that have to be done uh, before you do anything, I guess. I'm going to take a look at it before I zonk it on again because I might have to zip it off. might have it on backwards. I'm not minding that. Basically all I'm trying to do is run, run this ramrod straight with the back of this so it comes up straight. That's all I'm trying to do. Or runs along straight with it. I don't want it down. I don't want it up. I want it basically go along with it. It don't look bad. If you're down there and you can see something wrong with it, you're down too low. How's that? So I'm going to continue with that. I'm going to say that's fine. I'm going to knock the, the weld off with the flapper wheel. Joanne got me another cord. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. now is that where I have that piece connected on there I have the fender fixed in the back I'm, I'm thinking that I'm allowed to apply the fender and drill holes for the fender to fit on until I had that all that stuff done I really feel like I wasn't able to continue so I've got this now I've got to get it on there This piece, this jack's name is in the back. And I have this jack stand in the front for holding the fender. I don't think. Sometimes it can be very trying by yourself, but we sort of had it. Set up where it need to be. Yeah. All right. Got to go up tight there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some hardware. Yeah, I'm happy with. I, I don't think we want the gap down there, sweetheart. I think we got it right down there. I'm thinking. I think that's supposed to be tight. If not, we can always cut it back off. Can we not? I'm going to put a couple bolts in that. Tighten that fender on there. See what happens. Or start to, anyways. Actually, I can ply it on with clamps, might be my best bet. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna get some C clamps over here. I'm going to have to drill holes. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up putting the fender on there and I'm going to put it on there to get it, see where I like it. Then I'm going to pull the fender back off because I'm going to drill holes in the lip itself so I know where to, where to put the holes on the side of the box, basically. I, I should, I, I'm going to have to do that, but I want to get the fender in place to know where, if, where I'm going to drill because we have some square stock that goes in there. I do not want to put a hole where the square stock is 
I want to miss the square stock in the inside and make sure I hit the right places. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. I want to hit all the right marks if I can't. Let's pull this out of here. Try to get things lined up here. And what can I say? The The running boards are the length of the original running boards. That's how I know where the fender goes. So it says, well, line, line the fender, line the, get the fender lined up. Well, the, the running board itself should tell me, the running board itself should tell me, the bolt in there, I think, should tell me where the fender goes because I have not changed the length of the car and I have not changed the length of the running boards. That's where the fender was when the car was, when it was a car. So the length of the running board should tell me where the fender goes. Or that's what I'm allowing it to do. I think that's a good thing. That piece of exhaust on the, on the inside makes it hard to put a bolt on. I'm gonna... This in here. There we go. Uh, just loosen that up a bit. Come on, baby. Seeing it's a damn weak chat. All right, I'm saying that we're good there. We're matching up good. I think we are. The holes are lining up. Got a hole there. Haven't got that one drilled yet. We're right on top of that one. We should be fine. We're hard up against. Yeah, we're just hard up against. Now, see, there's going to be some work getting that tight up against there. Now, I'm saying that that fender should be where it's supposed to be because of the running board. I'm gonna go inside here and make some marks. I think I want one right there. I need a light to see where that um, square stock is. The square stock on the inside run alongside the box. I do not want to hit that with a, with a bolt. And the reason being is I don't want to go through it. I just want to miss it. That's what I want to do. All right, now I can see. All right, so we'll go. We'll try to keep them the same distance apart. Would be nice, and I'm just going to guess, like I always do, but it's gonna be an educated guess because I'm gonna look at them. Hard to see and it's down, I guess. And I'll center them on the. See, I just don't want to hit that square stock. That's on top, so we should be fine there. And then go underneath the square stock. And then we'll go way back here. Hmm. Okay, I might put one in between that. I can't see that right now because I got a piece of metal there. I'm gonna cut that off. But there's one. That jacks. See something like that, huh? Alrighty. What, baby? You like that, did you? Me all caught up and frustrated. Now, I'm going to say that I'm going to put one right around here somewhere. I'm going to draw it from the outside. Just so I can... 
Alrighty. Turn that bad boy off. Drill the holes in the fender, put the fender back on, and then drill holes through the box. And then and then repeat for the other side. Repeat for the other side. going to do this make it easy on myself I'm going to try to make it easy on myself we'll drill them from the other side And then I had one there, and I'll put one in between the middle of those two. I'll cut that out. Alrighty. Let's cut that out with a zip cut. One right, what did I say? One in the middle. We'll do one there. Alrighty, so I'm gonna lay this on this side. One hole. I don't want to get it up too close to the fender, It'd just be hard hard to bolt it on and just put it in the center, It'd be fine, I think. One disc gone. Good thing we got the disc guy here. I said one there, didn't I? And we'll do one here. Let's cutting it close down at the bottom, right on that edge. Cutting it close, but I think we'll need one there. What what are we at? Good. We'll drill some holes. Drill some holes. Where'd the cover for that bad boy go? Get the drill bit. I noticed that the fender is having a hard time fitting uh, along the edge nice and tight and right. I uh, have to remember this fender was for a car and we're making it for a truck. We put the lip on it straight. It does not mean that the fender was running straight on the car. I'm kind of wondering, how big do I want the hole? I think I want adjustment. Eh. Go that big. We won't go all the way through, but we'll go to the. Oh. Don't do that, Chip. Work good, these do. They work good. As soon as I say that, that's when, that's when it'll stop working. Joanie's got her foot on it, helping me. God bless you. I've got no way of, I thought about this, I've got no way of clamping the fender to the box side to make sure it's tight and right when I drill it. 
So I'm going to have a little bit of an issue, probably. I'm going to roll it over. I'm going to take off the sharp stuff on the inside. I don't feel like getting cut. Just run the wheel around it. I like the bigger lip that we put on the edge of the fender. I feel like it's a, a bonus. The lip on the fender is a 16 gauge, nice and thick, so we can really zonk the bolts in. Alrighty, I'm gonna do this again. That <laughs> jack stand between my legs couldn't get out. That was funny, wasn't it, baby? Huh? That was funny. supposed to be up there. I really have to sort of get it in the right place to have a true read. Just want to knock that down a little bit. Just hitting it on the edge where it's welded. Won't hurt it none. I'm thinking that we're fitting pretty good there. I probably could win some. But. Not bad. It's not fitting bad at all. Do I want to come down something? It matters. Don't it, baby? It matters. That's better. I'm liking that fit way better. That's where I want it to fit. Especially doing something like this, it's sort of got to fit right on the beginning. Got a little filler put on top of this. Got filler put on top of that. Uh, got a little repair going on there. I got to fix I got to fix the inside of the fender. So there's just a lot going on. Uh, fender's down below the... I got enough meat on the run. Of, yep. Okay, that's where I'm saying the fender's gonna fit. Wheel looks centered? Mm -hmm. Good. Jolene said the wheel's centered, so I don't wanna hear no comments about the wheel not being centered. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, isn't it, sweetheart? We need all the comments we can get. Have we got any more haters? I need more haters. <laughs> I need a few more. A couple more would be nice. See how that's not... That's kind of bothering me a little bit. I'm not sort of getting that. I like to get something. Hmm. All right. I'd like to get something in there to clamp that, but I don't think I can. What I'm going to try to do, and I'm going to try to run a set of clamps up and through there and clamp that the best I can, wherever I can, on the back side. Because the, the fender's not hitting hard against the box, and I'm not going to get a real good true read if I don't get it up tight the best I can where I can. Will you let me know, sweetheart, if I can? I'm right on the passes. Ooh, that's not bad.
배? 
That went through, didn't it? What's that, sweetheart? Okay. That through? That went through. I'm thinking. Yeah, one there. One there. I didn't put that on that square stock, did I? That's what I wasn't supposed to do. Did too. <laughs> Dumbass. What did I do that for? I did too. Put it right on the square stock. This is what I wouldn't want to do. Now, I got one above that. That's all. That one, that one there is done, isn't it? Not, not the easiest thing to do. I got one on the top here that I can't, that I haven't got, and we're just a little bit ways away. Are you able to shove in on that fender? Like push in? Oh, I don't want to push the box or anything, but. That goes through? I'm gonna go check to the other side. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't wanna hit that square stock. And I did. All right, we're good in the front. Good. All the holes are gone. All righty, everybody, that's what's going on. I got all the holes um, from the fender in the side of the box. If you want to go around the other side, we can point. You've seen them come through, did you not? So we just got one down on this panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two down below. And uh, that's great. We'll do that. I'll take the fender back off drill the holes with the drill and then we'll put it back on so let's take a little walk i said if you stayed with us i'm going to show you the shop we'll be right back let's take a walk out and take a look at the shop just want to turn around and take a look at the the handiwork awesome that fits nice down there in that running board and that fender beautiful awesome all right let's do it rain it out a little bit Let's go in the shop. Electricians are doing a little bit of last work going on there. And uh, we got the door up. This is the door we were coming in. We thought the windows were too high. We were down the road taking a look at it. We came up and the door window was up. So there you go. These are the young guys doing the electrical. They're doing a fine job. Doing a fine job. So this is basically it. They've got her all cleaned out. Uh, electricians are right here. They got the lights nice and straight which we like. Uh, we got to choose what lighting we wanted in it. Uh, we picked the cho cho we chose the lighting from the Houston Autorama. When we went there, the lighting was very nice. We think that we chose the same brightness, I guess. Uh, all the windows let in lots of light. Uh, it's not that great of a day, but we got lots of light coming in. As you can tell, if you look down the side of this building, all the screws are tremendously straight. I, I told you how they done that. They laid all the metal on top of each other, then they drilled it all at once. So when you put it up, all the screws are in the same place. All the screws are nice. All the electrical boxes are uh, beautifully done. Uh, we have a back entrance to go at the back. Uh, the floor has been line cut, so we do not get any uh, cracks in the floor. Basically, I've got stress cracks, I guess you call that. Uh, yeah, basically, it's nice and loud. It's clean. I like that they put, um, I don't know what that is, the metal. They could have ran the metal to the top and just stopped, but they didn't. They put a nice finish 
piece along the top of the metal. All the windows are cased in plastic. They did all the windows there. They cased that in plastic, did a nice job. All the lights are straight. When you go over to the panel board, you can tell all the wires come out of the wall nice and straight. This is the sort of stuff that, you know, I don't know, that someone should notice if they're getting something done. You know, the wires all come out of the, of the wall nice and straight like that. That's nice. Well done. Come out straight like that. Well done. The heat system, uh, I think they've already charged that full of the, whatever it's called, what's in the floor? Glycol. Glycol. So the floor is all done, it's in floor heat. It'll probably take three or four days to get it heated up, I guess. You can tell both switches up top there, are both in the right place, nice and square, straight and right and tight. Uh, the door, is, they're just wiring up the door right at the present moment. Uh, uh, we are 60, 60 by 100. Um, the whole outside is black, that's Jolene's choice. Black is beautiful, just like JJ Dynamite said. We have, it's pretty well done on the outside, we got an outside light for it. Um, the doors, the main big door is black, all the, the, the building is black, the roof is black, the siding is black, the, the soffit is black. It looks good. So soon we are going to be, it won't be, a, it'll be a little while yet to get the power hooked up. Um, we're waiting for the power to be hooked up in it. They're running everything right now, but it has to be run into this shop. We're putting, excuse me, a new panel in this shop, which we're running wire to this shop. And uh, that's what's going on. Um, I can't say nothing more, but Top Line Ventures did an excellent job on that. Um, there's more than just Harold and Brady. Is his son? His son put it up. Brady is the you know the boss of the situation. Harold is the owner and the overlooker, and makes sure everything's tight and right. And then he had a couple workers that did a fantastic job. Uh, one of the name was Sean, and I didn't get the other guy's name. There's two other guys. Um, they did a good job on it. And there's a few guys that didn't make it. <laughs> And uh, that's okay because um, they're all probably on to doing something else. But um, they all worked hard, and whoever didn't work hard didn't stay and finish it. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm saying. Um, but Top Line Ventures did the building. Uh, Harold was very good, and the reason I'm saying he's very good, he gave us a price, and he stuck to it no matter what. We even had some complications went on, and he and he even fixed that. Um, no worries. So. Um, you can't say nothing about that because it's something you agreed upon and it was stuck to and that's the way it is. It went fantastic. Um, I would get them to do something for me again and we might. You never know. All right, everybody, that's what's going on. Uh, it takes time to put a fender on a truck. You have to off and on, off and on, and off and on. That's, that's where it comes off and on, and off and on. Uh, and I have to take it off now and then I have to put it back on and maybe a couple more times. I've got one of those holes drilled right into the square stock. I might go right through the square stock and put one bolt there, but that means I'll have to do it on the other side. But anyways, that's what it is. All right, thanks everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. I done what I could do within the hour. Um, something like that takes a little bit of time. I'm thinking that I done this right here. I'm hoping, I, I like it the way I done it there and tried to bend that piece. And if you bend it, if it don't fit, well then you have to try to rebend it and all that stuff. Where I've cut it and while the piece is on, now I know it fits. If you like what happened, throw a like in. And if you like it, you might as well throw a comment in. Um, you can subscribe, tell people to subscribe if they're into building old cars and uh, share, share it. And, and that way there people will subscribe maybe. Let's, how about this? Everybody that watched this video that liked it, throw out a share. Share.